Creating charts or graphs in Excel is a fabulous way of visually displaying your data. It makes it much easier for your viewer to understand trends and understand uh, highs and lows uh, in terms of sales or notify, notice variations in data over periods of time. The Excel 2007 with its ribbon interface uh, greatly enhance your abilities to create and modify Excel charts from data tables. And if we look at the ribbon under the Insert tab, this is where we have our charting options. Now you can do everything pertaining to charts in Excel 2007 with far fewer clicks, but you certainly do have uh, most if not all of the traditional dialog boxes that you might be familiar with from earlier versions of the program. A good way to start is uh, having your data sheet that you'd like to plot in the form of a chart up on the screen. Just click a cell within that data table. Now it might be easier if you use data that's in the form of an actual Excel table because if you add columns or rows to data that's in the form of a table within Excel, the chart will automatically pick those rows and columns up. An easy way to convert a data sheet to an actual table is clicking a cell within that table and hitting the control key, uh, control T keys. It'll ask you the range for your table and I'm going to select everything with the exception of my title and it does have headers that would be the different city locations across the top and I say OK. It will then format my data sheet as an actual table and if I start out with data in this form it will make the graphing process much easier. But I'm going to go ahead and step back and we're just going to work with what we had originally. just wanted to include that information for you. All right, I'm going to come back to the insert tab. I've selected a cell within my data range that I'd like to plot in a table or any actual uh, in a chart, I have the different chart types. These are the master chart types. Notice each one of these buttons has a little drop down. If I click on it, I'm then presented with numerous different categories of chart types for that particular selection. And here for column chart, for column chart alone, I've got numerous categories. And if I hover over the selection, Excel will explain to me what that particular chart is used for. Sometimes you have stacked values, sometimes you have individual values, you have three-dimensional options, three-dimensional stacked options, you have cylinder options for your column chart, you have cones, pyramids, and then we can go over to line and click the drop-down arrow there. We have 2D line, we've got three-dimensional line, pie chart, we have different options for our pie chart. We have a pie chart we can drag apart and separate the, the wedges, or it's an exploded pie it's called, three-dimensional pie. Uh, the bar charts are like column charts, but bar charts run horizontally. Pretty much the same options you had under the column chart selection. Area. You have 2D and 3D area charts. You have scatter charts where you can see how your points scatter. And then you have other chart types as well. You know, stock charts, surface charts, donut charts, bubble charts, radar charts, and so on. If you click on all chart types, that will open up a dialog. It'll give you all the main categories down the left side. If you select a main category, you'll then have your subcategories and the different selections beneath each category. So you have some very robust choices. If you're at any point dissatisfied with a chart type you select, you can always go back and change it quite easily. You're never committed to a chart that you might select initially. And uh, we're going to use an example here. We'll choose a column chart. We'll use a simple 2D column chart. I click the choice that I want. And notice how quickly Excel selects for me the data. It believes that I want to plot in my chart. It'll also open up a new set of ribbon menus here under the chart tools master category and it takes me directly to the design tab where I can change my chart type I can switch the row and column data because sometimes Excel even with its best guess doesn't understand which how you want to apply the data and present your data within your chart sometimes you might want to switch your rows and columns 
And I think in this example here, we're probably going to want to do that. Um, we have different chart layout choices, and this drops down to present us with a number of different layout options. We have styles, and this breaks down as well. All these different color styles or enhancements and different looks that we can apply. All right, now if I want to change my, my row and column data, because what I have right here from my automobile sales spreadsheet is it shows me for each month, it gives me five separate series, color series, which are presented here in the legend. And I think I would prefer to have it, the actual locations across the bottom, five little categories, and then the months of the year going down. And if I were to change the row and column by clicking on that switch icon, it will then present it differently. And here I have the cities going across the bottom, and then I can look at the trend of sales month by month for each city car dealership location. Much easier. Okay. Now, as far as a chart goes, um, you can place this on a separate tab in your workbook, which is what you might want to do. You can enlarge it. You can reduce the size. You have the handles around the edges where you can drag it, click it, and drag it outward to make it larger. You can move it to reposition it on your screen, but be careful what it is you grab. You want to make sure you, you select just the master area and not a component of your chart. If you want to take a look at your layout options under the chart tools, and notice if I click the background and I click off the chart, my ribbon returns to normal. If I click back on a chart that I might have, then that chart tools group reappears. So keep that in mind. You can then click into any sub tab. If I want to go to layout, I have the option to apply a picture, to incorporate shapes or a text box. I can add a chart title. I can give the the vertical and the horizontal axes specific titles so I know what I'm plotting. I can indicate where I'd like the legend to appear, which uh, in this case would be the months of the year. Uh, if I want data labels to actually appear over the surface of each series and each bar within my chart, I can apply that. Um, I have axes options, grid line options, plot area options. I can include trend lines. There are numerous, numerous options you have to customize your data in Excel charts. Then you have the format option. You can format any aspect of your chart. The thing is, you're going to want to go in here and experiment. You can always undo if you need to, if you make a mistake. But experiment with your options and work towards optimal display of the data that you're portraying visually. Another great aspect of the Excel 2007 charting capability is it's very streamlined and it interfaces nicely if you want to copy and paste a chart from Excel into Word or from Excel into PowerPoint that works very well also. I will have a series of separate videos going into particular details about charting. This is just designed to give you a general overview of where you find the options and what you can do.